Heartbroken neighbors say it was people working to clean up this home behind us that found the body of the 10 year old girl Saturday afternoon. They say this crime has shaken the entire community and even just the visual of this house brings back nightmares. I don't like pulling back in here and looking at this, just knowing, just knowing somebody's baby lost their life back there. Over the weekend, police announcing charges against 44 year old Antonio Monroe, a convicted sex offender accused in the kidnapping and murder of 10 year old Destiny Huggins and the kidnapping of her six year old sister. Monroe is accused of luring the two girls who were outside playing into the backyard of this abandoned home, promising them money before attacking them. No one ever wants to get a knock on the door, hear from the police that their child has been murdered especially an innocent child. A criminal complaint filed in Winnebago County says Monroe strangled the six year old until she lost consciousness. Police say she was able to escape and run for help, but Destiny didn't survive her injuries. I think this is again just a real life nightmare with a real life monster. Court records show Monroe has a lengthy criminal history dating back decades. He was sentenced to prison in a 2002 case for being a felon in possession of a weapon, released on parole in 2006, according to the Illinois Department of Corrections. He was also convicted in a 2010 case where he sexually assaulted a 19-year-old woman in Peoria County, starting his sentence in 2011 and being released on parole in 2018. Neighbors say the more details they're learning, the more their stomach seems to sink. It could have been anyone. It could have been anyone. Anyone's child, anyone's daughter. It could have been me, mine. Investigators now eyeing Monroe in connection with the death investigation in Schaumburg. According to Schaumburg Police, 24-year-old Natalie Negre was found dead in a hotel room on July 5th, but her cause of death still hasn't been released. Police believe Monroe was with her before her body was discovered, and they confirm her vehicle turned up in Rockford days ago. Meantime, in Rockford, the community is banding together to remember the beautiful 10 year old girl while leaning on each other for support. School officials confirming Destiny was a student at Constance Lane Elementary School, sharing a statement with WGN that reads in part, quote, the staff at Constance Lane Elementary School is deeply saddened by the death of one of our students. Our school is a community and her loss is felt by all. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family, our students and our wider community. It's a tragedy. What happened here is a tragedy and I haven't stopped thinking about it. School staff says they're partnering with the community and school to provide safe spaces for both families and students during this difficult time. As for the suspect, he's due back in court on August 15th. Reporting in Rockford, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.